was like, why? Why? Can't we just see him one game, guys? One game. And I think his win rate was like 20% or something in the TI hub. He did get picked a little bit, but yeah, it, the, the numbers were abysmal. Arrow, oh, oh, it connects on Cheshire Cat. Kuro might be able to get himself a first blood. It's a tanky dark seer. He's got himself the stout shield. And while we're looking at this, Timbersaw will solo kill the puck mid. All right, well, speak of the devil. Fairy Dragon takes a tumble earlier than expected. I was trying to bait Undershock in mid here so hard right now. <laughs> just hoping that he'll make another mistake. He's staying so low and kind of just like sitting on his high ground, hoping that he'll maybe not notice the infused raindrops are, are yeah. still up and active here. Uh oh, in comes Big Num. They're going to go for it now. Fada might have bit off more than he could chew. Jaunt forward from the puck. They will find the kill, but close range arrow. Jerax follows up with a kick forward, and Kuro gets credit for the counter kill on puck. One for one. Timbersaw falling first does make that, I think, slightly more advantageous for the puck. Also, a big. Maybe yeah, they'll be able to grab J4. Silence. Stun not going to be on the mark. Arrow misses as well. They get a ward down behind the tower, so that's not too bad. Kinetic like, feels it right here. Like, like where's my puck? Yeah, where is he? For real, that's a good question. He's back at the base. Oh, he's DPing in now, but it's too late. Darkseer actually gets a kill and spend in the top lane. And looks like Jerax will be the next to fall. Finally, the rotation from Puck comes in. And just as you were saying, it changes the state of the engagement. And Tide will be forced back. Up in the top lane, looks like Ricky helped set him up. But surprise bird. That's that the dream money. right there. So uh, one of the benefits of that ward being there, too. Uh oh, they've got a dust, though. Ricky goes into Tricks of the Trade. Does not have any allies nearby. Unable to get the smoke screen off. Jerax times the silence perfectly. Now the smoke screen comes. Sven actually gets a miss, but Jerax finds the RNG and will punish that Ricky. He still gets the courier, though. I think that death uh, well worth it. Yeah, you'll take those. I mean, rotation coming through, but unfortunately, it's not going to stop Matumba Man from farming up these ancients, and that's what this vision is uh, mostly for, so they can contest. Here we go. Mind control down bottom. He gets initiated on the static storm, sets it up. Kuro leaps back, but got him. On hot pursuit with no more leap. Kuro should be dead here. One more auto attack. Can he find it? No. Absolutely. Blink Dagger up on Puck. Maybe time to pick a fight for Power Rangers. They're going to go for this rune, and it's actually fought it. I guess an arcane. Pretty good for the Timber Cell, though. Glimson back. Static Storm. Kinetic Field. Can they actually find the kill here, though? Puck follows up. They've got a lot of damage. Now Dream Coil used. They bring down Fata first, maybe Jerax. Oh, He'll wow. buy back, actually. They want to take this fight. Jerax is already dead, but Ravage on three sets it up for Liquid. They bring down all three of the heroes caught by the Ravage. The buyback not even going to be necessary, but Liquid will easily take it. Maybe thinking about moving into the Roche pit, but they back out looking for more kills. Matumba are probably just moving into a Desolator next. He's got his Mithril Hammer and Blightstone. They definitely want to start sieging these towers. Arrow from the Marana, just a scouting arrow. Kind of looking around, seeing what's happening. Matumba Man in the tree line nearby. Jerax initiates on to Gotham. There's the follow up start, but Disruptor with a huge static storm kinetic field. Sven will die first. The trips of the trade and Fest Bomb helping him out. Jerax on the back line, taking some damage, but so has Gotham. It's a two for nil so far. Liquid on the back foot, unable to secure any of these kills. Glimpse back on the Fata again. Now the smoke screen from Ricky. It's like a mini static storm. They will actually lose the Ricky in the fray, but they could set up two more kills. Mind Control trying to move through the trees, but it won't happen. Kuro, the only one left alive on Liquid. Power Rangers take a huge fight, break this game wide open. They'll get a Tier 1 tower to boot, and maybe put a little pressure on this Tier 2 also. Life Stealer, oh god, needs to be careful. Shape. Liquid wrapping around the tower. Puck has the Infest Bomb. Jaunts to the orb. Got him. Gets left behind. It's not oh, really an aggressive Infest Bomb, but they will glimpse back to Sven into a Static Storm kinetic field. Follow-up damage is there. Big Numb going in hard. Now Puck hops forward. Beautiful back wall on the whole team. Liquid in trouble. They've lost two out of the gate. The remaining three on the run. Jerax will turn. Finds a stun on two. Drops the Magnetize. But Power Rangers aren't done yet. They'll mech through it. Yule Scepter on the Earth Spirit. And a glimpse back onto Mind Control. He's got the Ravage, but now he's silenced. Double silence, it's a four for nil. It's Power Rangers coming out big. Bata TPs away. My God, what an amazing fight for the underdogs. Nearly 3K net worth exchanged as they head right for the Roche pit. Puck will be a driving force in this game. Yeah, and again, I mean, up against the Sven, Timber Sod, they definitely just want to keep this up, keep hammering away. Can't really slow down. Is this really going to be a kill from Cheshire Cat down bottom? Oh my god, it shouldn't be. He's going to go in. Now they're going to turn it the other way. Glimpse back on the Kuro. And Dark Zero bite off more than he could chew. You see the damage from the Sven with the Echo Saber God Strength. It is a ridiculous amount of burst. And that's a relatively tanky Dark Seer as well. He's got a mech and he died in the blink of an eye. Undershock and you go in on the Matumba Man. He will just try to TP home. The Yule Scepter will interrupt it. 
as such he won't get stunned by the dream coil tether but got him goes in pops the rage and sven will not survive they may look for more fata gets glimpsed back but it'll actually help him defend and they make it out all right Scary our rangers hanging there. on yeah nice use of the sentries there just to up there going for the sentry play and everything but pierre just fully grouping not allowing any sort of a counter play here there is an invis rune on matumba man but again that gem I'm uh, not sure who it's on right now. Oh, not Just Cheshire Ricky. Cat. Oh, Cheshire Cat falling low. Matumba Man pops the BKB surge. Not going to be enough to save him. They gush there from Mind Control, helping him out. That is the 10-second BKB, though, of Matumba Man, used just for a kill on the Dark Seer. It does keep him alive and probably a good choice to use it, but something to keep in mind. It will be on cooldown for another 60 seconds, and PR might take this opportunity to pick a fight. Kuro, oh my, what a combo. Dream Coil into Glimpse forces the stun. Nowhere for the Marana to go, and they will make it a one-for-one one at least. Yeah, this is like Combo City in this draft, man. We've had Glimpses back into Smoke Clouds. We've got something here. I have to, like, double-check everything, wow. but... What's your deal, is, dog? Is this a Lincoln's? On my, on my puck here? Is that what's happening? Oh, boy. Not Lincoln's. It is. Please, not Lincoln's. It's a Lincoln's. Uh-oh, we'll hold that thought, though. Whoa, back wall again in the mid lane. Big Numb still gets brought down. But they do lose the Marana. Mind Control stuck inside a kinetic, storm, or a kinetic field static storm. J4 gets surged and actually makes it away. The other side of the fight, Huck joins the party. They will lose the Disruptor. Glimpse back and actually helps set up onto Gotham. There's the Ravage. It's a great fight for Liquid. Undershot doing some decent damage. We'll be able to jaunt out, but follow from a Tumba Man brings him down swiftly. Lincoln's, bro. Triple kill for Mind Control. One for four, and a huge fight for Liquid. They have now taken control. Caught by the Static Storm Kinetic Field combo. Mind Control getting low as well. It's a quick one for nil. BKB used by Matumba Man. And it looks like there's not going to be any use for it. Big Num blinks out. He does get stunned, but he will have tricks of the trade if he can just survive long enough. Another beautiful back wall from the Dark Seer. Liquid get completely cleaned up again. Cheshire Cat, the hero of the game. Oh my god. The second time he's completely turned a team fight. PR might have just done it. It's a buyback from the Sven. Timbersaw going to be up soon, but the remaining four do not have a buyback. The TIE Hunter didn't even get to ravage that fight. He died too quickly. Bottom lane of barracks will be cleaned up. There's tier two towers in every other lane, so it won't be any more than one lane of barracks down. But Fata looking to die a second time down to six Bloodstone charges of all the heroes to die after that. Timbersaw probably the worst. His snowball is melting before our eyes. Yeah, just unreal stuff out of Cheshire Cat this game. I mean, everyone... But they do hold on. Melee Barracks not going to be so lucky. There isn't a glyph for Liquid. And they're trying to set up for a fight, but in the end, they just but lose their barracks. Uh-oh, the Lincoln's got him. He's going to juke it. He's going to drive it. Lincoln's Look not it saving go. it from the Timbersaw, but the right clicks the Feast. Here's the Ravage. Connects on the entire team. Sven brings down J4. Undershot getting low, but another okay. huge vacuum wall from Cheshire Cat. Maybe his team will have the damage to finish this off. But maybe not, Matumba Man will fall. Magnetize starting to do a lot of damage. Got him, put up the Yule Scepter. Jerax on the back line, getting slowed down by Ricky. The Diffusal Blade coming in handy. It's going to be a close call, but the Blink Strike is there. Meanwhile, up top, Nine Control will TP home, and the rest of PR will start to back out. It's a one for three again. Every time it looks like Liquid will be able to take a fight, they just can't do it. The Life Stealer did die, but yeah, the Aegis. Yeah, I mean, players get Reddit threads for. No Aegis this time. Here we go. Got him going in onto Mind Control. No Ravage for 60 seconds. But Liquid have to make a stand here. They can't let these barracks die. Got him. Almost gets hit by the arrow, but he makes it out. Gets a bash onto Fada. He will still survive for now, but Mind Control not going to be so lucky. Tricks of the trade sets it up. Suicide from the Timbersaw after the Static Storm Kinetic Field combo comes out. Now the Orb in, the Jaunt Forward from Puck. Jerax brought down to the blink of an eye, and Liquid moments from a GG with three heroes down, no buybacks available. Power Rangers with a huge upset. The odds that were once 5x payout for Power Rangers victory now down to 2.36 as this game is continued. Ridiculous. Got him initiated on. Gets off the infest. He'll survive. BKB from a Tumba Band baited out. And now the initiation continues. Glimpse walled tricks of the traded and he will fall the ggs called and power rangers get the upset they were hoping for 33 to 15 in 37 minutes of gameplay 
uh, just extremely well executed from Pierre. They had this lineup that you can look at this draft and you know how they have to win. There's no questions about it. You know the early game pressure is coming. You know that Puck's going to be looking to counter out that Earth Spirit and Marana as they dive under towers of your aggressive support.